July this year saw the youngest ever recipient of a double hand transplant in the Children's Hospital of Philadelphia. It's a story of great generosity, courage, skill, with some fear and sadness. It is a story with many heroes, the family of the young man, the young man himself, eight-year-old Zion Harvey, who at the age of two developed a life-threatening bacterial infection that required the amputation of both of his hands and feet. At the age of four, he received a kidney transplant, a kidney donated by his mother. We cannot also but think of the donor and the family who, in the midst of their own loss and grief, compassionately and with great generosity, offered to be part of the donor process. The team of 40 doctors and nurses who worked so hard to bring and to undertake this groundbreaking operation. Jesus is building his own team in our gospel today, a team of helpers and lay people, and he is laying down the principles on which good discipleship is built. It is early days in their training, and disciples are still struggling to understand this new way Jesus is presenting. His approach is alien to them. At times it seems demanding. It opens the door to suffering rather than fulfillment. It calls out for humility over acclamation, simplicity of action over mastery of skills, and so on. Jesus provides few direct answers to his people. He shocks them with his acceptance of someone who walks in his name despite not formally becoming part of the team. A simple action of offering someone a glass of water becomes a gospel act to be praised and rewarded. There is the great warning of not causing the little ones to stumble. Why should they be rewarded in this? Surely these have been punished for previous wrongs or are not worthy of the efforts of the disciples walking in God's name. Then there is the metaphorical language of Jesus and the radical surgery to the body to avoid hellfire. And today's teaching ends with a reminder that the way of the disciple of Jesus is not around or by avoiding suffering and purification. It is true both of them. I suspect by the end of this session with their teacher, the disciples were wondering what they had really signed up to. We are not told in the gospel, but I wonder did any of the disciples leave and head back to their old way of life. For those that stayed, a radical rethink was required. Jesus places the mission of the kingdom in the hands of very ordinary people that day in Capernaum. As he continues to do so today, we are the hands, the feet, the vices of the kingdom. Following the 10-hour operation to give the young man Zion his new hands, the leading surgeon of the team said something which caught my attention. For surgery, preparation is the only shortcut you need, he said. There are no shortcuts in our preparation of living of the kingdom. There can be no shortcuts in anything we do. That is both the gift and the challenge of being human and being a disciple. Neither can we live alone. We are never a disciple alone. Hours before his surgery, a sign was heard reassuring his mother that if things got messed up during the surgery, he wouldn't care because he still got his family. Surely the wisdom of one of the little ones Jesus wanted minded in our gospel. For the philosopher Charles Taylor, the test of an authentic discipleship of spirituality is the willingness to deny or sacrifice oneself instead of merely trying to find or fulfill oneself. On being asked what he most wanted to do with his new hands, Zion answered what he most looked forward to was being able to wait for his younger sister to run into his hands so that he could pick her up and spin her around. I believe Jesus today is preparing his disciples for such moments and such wisdom. The kingdom is found in the ordinary day to day, in the vices, the giftedness and the needs of those around us, in the actions, words and journeys we make, in how we honour the body and the life we have been given, and how we offer the same gift to others. In this way we belong to Jesus and his team. Lord, be our guide and support. Amen.